Abraha also spelled Abreha, died after AD 553, r. 525 at least 553, also known as Abraha al-Ashram Arabic, Abrahat al-Ashram was an Aksumite army general, then the viceroy of southern Arabia for the kingdom of Aksum, and later declared himself an independent king of Himyar. Abraha ruled much of present-day Arabia and Yemen from at least 531 to 547 AD to 555 to 565 AD. Topic Life Du Nu was, the Jewish Himyarite ruler of Yemen, in the period c. 523–525 or c. 518–20 launched military operations against the Aksumite Christians and their local Arab Christian allies. The Aksumites in Zafar were killed, their fortresses in the Yemeni highlands destroyed, and Najran sacked. Najran fell in 518 or 523 and many members of the Himyarite Christian community were put to death evoking great sympathy throughout the Christian regions of the Orient and prompting an intercontinental Aksumite military intervention using the massive Aksumite fleet aided by a small extra Byzantine fleet first made in 518-523. Abraha was either one of the commanders or a member of one of the armies led by King Caleb of Aksum against Du Nuwas. In Al-Tabari's history, Abraha is said to have been the commander of the second army sent by Caleb after the first failed, led by Ariat. Abraha was reported to have led his army of 100,000 men with hundreds of elephants to successfully crush all resistance of the Yemeni army and then, following the suicide of Du Nuwas, seized power and established himself at Sana'a. He aroused the wrath of Caleb, however, by withholding tribute who then sent his general Ariat to take over the governorship of Yemen. Abraha rid himself of the latter by a subterfuge in a duel resulting in Ariat being killed and Abraha suffering the injury which earned him the sobriquet of Al-Azram, Scarface. According to Procopius, histories 1.20, Abraha seized the control of Yemen from Esimafios Sumuafa Ashawa, the Christian Himyarite viceroy appointed by Caleb, with the support of dissident elements within the Aksum occupation force who were eager to settle in the Yemen, then a rich and fertile land. Stuart Monroe Hay, who proposes a 518 date for the rise of Du Nuwas, dates this event to 525, while by the later chronology in which Du Nuwas comes to power in 523, this event would have happened about 530, although a date as late as 543 has been postulated by Jacques Rickmans, an army sent by Caleb to subdue, Abraha joined his ranks and killed the ruler sent to replace him this is perhaps a reference to Ariat and a second army was defeated. After this Caleb had to accord him de facto recognition before earning recognition under Caleb's successor for a nominal tribute. <inaudible> Rule Abraha is seen as then becoming a prominent figure in Yemen's history, promoting the cause of Christianity in the face of the prevalent Judaism and the paganism of Central Arabia. A zealous Christian himself, he is said to have built a great church at Sana'a and to have repaired the principal irrigation dam at the Sabaean capital of Marib. Epigraphic sources chronicling Abraha's career include an inscription on the Marib Dam recording the quelling of an insurrection backed by a son of the deposed ruler, Esimaphios, in the year 657 of the Sabaean era, i.e. between 540–550, vital repairs effected to the dam later in the same year, the reception of envoys from the Negus, from Byzantium, from Persia and from Al-Harith ibn Jabala, the Philarch of Arabia, and the completion of repairs to the dam in the following year, followed by a great feast of rejoicing. The royal title adopted by Abraha king of Saba and Du Raidan and Hadramat and Yamanat and of their Arabs on the plateau and the lowland. Was of the Himyarites <laughs> Islamic tradition Islamic tradition credits Abraha with a military expedition against the Quraysh of Mecca in an invasion of Hejaz in 570, known as the Year of the Elephant. The tafsir exegesis of the Surat al-Fil states that he perished. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> National Museum of Saudi Arabia. According to the National Museum of Saudi Arabia in Riyadh, Abraha built al khulis in Sana'a. He also built a similar one in Najran for Bani al-Harith, the house of Alid in Taif for the tribe of Thaqif, the house of Urim and the house of Gamdan in Yemen. 
The traditions also say that Abraha is said to have built a cathedral at Sana'a known as al from the Greek Ecclesia to rival the Kaaba at Mecca and specifically came with his forces of elephants to destroy the Kaaba. Death No reliable information exists about the date of Abraha's death. Monroe Hay dates his death to some time after 553 based on the inscription at Moragan. Islamic tradition places it immediately after his expedition to Mecca. He was succeeded on the throne by two of his sons, Yaksim and Masruk, born to him by Rayana, a Yemenite noblewoman whom Abraha had abducted from her husband. Between 570 and 575, the pro Persian group in Yemen made contact with the Sassanid king through the Lakhmid princes in Al Hira. The Persians then sent troops under the command of Waris, who helped the semi legendary Saif ibn Dhi Yazin drive the Aksumites from Yemen and southern Arabia, became a Persian dominion under a Yemenite vassal within the sphere of influence of the Sasanian Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Death of Abraha according to Islamic belief According to the Quran, the next day, as Abraha prepared to enter Mecca, a dark cloud of birds appeared. The birds, sent by God, carried brimstone and bombarded Abraha's army, and killed him and his army. This is the theme mentioned in the Quran, chapter 105, al fil the elephant, as follows. Have you not seen how your Lord dealt with the possessors of the elephant? Did he not cause their war plot to end in confusion, and send down to pray upon them birds in flocks, casting them with brimstone, so he rendered them like straw eaten up? Topic. See also Kingdom of Aksum References, <references>